Okay, hi people that uh, watch these tutorial videos. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, please make sure you hit up the blog to get more of a long write-up. And there's a couple more new tutorials coming today that should show up at the same time. Um, so th this one is about using the ADR, a ADSR envelope generator in a synth to take just a normal tone sound and turn it into a drum sound. And there's a lot of artists that have been using this recently. Um, I actually got the idea to do this. Uh, particular tutorial from uh, that Kanye West song, Heartless, I think it's Heartless, where he uh, uses this kind of a sound um, as his bass drum. And so it's a toned bass drum, but you can use this just to create any kind of bass drum, snare drum, hi-hat, anything you want. Um, so um, this one in particular is using a Logic um, synth, but any synth that you have, hardware, software, you could do the same thing. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so to illustrate this concept, I'm going to use um, this polyphonic synth um, that comes with Logic. This really applies to any synth, hardware or software. But the polyphonic synth, uh, all polyphonic means is that it will play back more than one note at a time. Uh, and so every basic synth, uh, or subtractive synth, uh, ha follows this basic structure. And over here you have the sound generators, so you choose which kind of waves you want to make the sound. And then it goes through a filter section that kind of alters the raw sound coming out and then you go through the uh, ADSR envelope um, and that controls how the sound um, is generated over time um, and so to illustrate that here's I'm gonna turn all these down and so the ADSR means attack decay sustain and release so the attack is the attack the amount of time that the signal ramps up to full volume. Uh, so to show you that, I'm going to just play a short note here. So that's a sh slow attack. It is taking as long as you're hearing to get up to full volume. This is a longer attack. So that was about a four or five second attack. Um, and that's how long it takes to go from uh, no volume to full volume. Okay, and so what the d decay is, is it's the next little bump in the the sound signal over time and the decay is how long uh, it takes to go from that full volume down to the sustain so these two work together so decay uh, that's just kind of the actual the meat of the sound is the decay and then the sustain is the volume that it levels off to so that just stays at that a long volume or it can decay down to a low volume and it's just going to hang out at that volume until we let go uh, and then also decay is dependent on how long you hold down the uh, the key so if I have a long decay it's still going to let go as soon as I let go of the key and then finally release release is the um, sound after you let go of the key so this is no release it goes to com completely turned off when you let go of the key. And then over time, that's a short release. And that's a long release. So if we want to make a percussive sound, I'm not going to play with any of this stuff and just with the ADSR. Uh, so I'm going to go down to a little bit uh, lower note. So drums, they have a short attack because they start they go to full volume pretty much as soon as you hit them so we're gonna keep that volume low and so the decay is gonna control how long that initial hit lasts and so we can actually just play with it that's nothing okay that's good for now so that's just like how long the initial tone would last that initial transient and then the sustain is where it levels off to you That sounds about right. So that still doesn't sound much like a drum because drums have a release note. After you finish hitting it, uh, it still releases for a long time. So, and obviously this, this doesn't sound like a real drum, but to kind of recreate those percussive kind of samples. So now that we have that longer release, we can probably turn down the decay a little bit. So you turn it up still.
So that's that. Just using those, I didn't change the sound at all. This is just the default sound. But by manipulating the uh, attack, decay, the sustain, and release, you can turn any normal synth sound into a drum sound. And this comes in handy for all kinds of music, not just uh, like electronic or hip hop. But uh, if you want a, a drop sound, like in rock, that's how you make it. So that would be like a, a long release. That's that drop sound that you hear all the time in big rock songs. So, uh, yep, that's how you do it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that help, helped you out some. If you have any questions about how to make uh, different types of drum sounds, go ahead and leave a comment um, on the blog down there. The, the blog's a little bit better way to reach me because I get notified correctly. The YouTube one, um, I don't get notified as well for some reason. So uh, you can go to the blog or leave a comment on YouTube. I'll find it eventually. So um, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for upcoming tutorials.